In this video, we'll have some more practice with the three I's. So we'll be looking at identity, ions, and isotopes, in addition to the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. So let's fill in the rest of the table. Phosphorus 31. Notice phosphorus has an atomic number of 15. That means it has 15 protons. The mass number, well, it's not this. Remember, this is the average atomic mass. The mass number for this particular phosphorus atom is 31. It has 15 protons. Remember, atomic number and the number of protons are always equal. We're going to assume that it also has 15 electrons. Because remember that an atom is electrically neutral. It should have the same number of positives as it does negatives. And we don't have any indication here that this is an ion. If it was an ion, it may have like a minus 3 written up here, or it might say something like phosphide. So because there's no indication that it's an ion, we'll assume it has an equal number of protons and neutrons. Sorry, protons and electrons. Now, how many neutrons does phosphorus have? Well, we know that the mass number is 31. And what contributes to the mass of an element is the number of protons, plus the number of neutrons. So 15 plus 16 equals 31. So we can write it like this. Phosphorus, that's the symbol P, has a mass number of 31 and it has 15 protons. Now let's do another one. Atomic number of 5. Well, boron has an atomic number of 5. That means it has 5 protons. We'll assume once again that it's neutral. We don't know for sure that it is, but we'll just assume that. And if the mass number is 11, that means that 5 plus 6 has to sum up to 11. So it has 6 neutrons. So we can write it like this. And the isotope name would be boron 11. All right, let's try the next row. It has 12 protons, so magnesium has 12 protons. So it has atomic number of 12. The mass number, remember that's the number of protons plus the number of electrons. So 12 plus 14 should be 26. Now notice that it has 12 positives and 10 negatives. So what would the overall charge be if we had 12 positives and 10 negatives? Yeah, that's right. It would be plus 2 because it has two more positives than it does negatives. So this would be the symbol for magnesium. And you notice this isn't a magnesium atom. This is a magnesium ion because it has a charge. It's lost two electrons. So here's how you could write the name, magnesium 26. All right, our last one. This is not bromine. This is bromide. It's an ion because it has a charge of minus 1. So bromine has 35 protons, so that's the atomic number. It has a mass number of 81. Number of protons, once again, is 35. So how did bromide get a charge of minus 1? Well, if it has 35 positives, it must have 36 negatives. So it has one more negative than it does positive. That's how it gets its charge of minus 1. So if the mass number, again, is 81, the number of protons plus the number of neutrons has to equal 81. So 35 plus 46 should equal 81. And we would write this as bromine 81 or even bromide 81.